Welcome back. My name is Tom and I'm a data scientist working in Australia. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a basic time series plot. To do this, we're going to use the COVID-19 confirmed global cases data as an example. Uh, I'm going to use a particular version of that data set uh, just in, so that you can reproduce this yourself. And the first step we're going to do is we're going to load the data into R. So to do that, I'm going to load the raw data file, move to the R Studio window, and load in the COVID-19 global cases data. So we're going to do it like this. First of all, let's load the tidyverse package. There we go. And then we're going to load in the file and we can load that directly using the read CSV function. Okay. So here's what the data looks like. As you can see, uh, we have the dates along the top and we have the province, we have the country and latitude and longitude. And we're gonna build a very simple time series plot using the number of confirmed cases per day per country. So to do that, we need to do a little bit of data cleaning. So the first step is we're going to move uh, these dates so that they are all in one column and the counts are in another column. So this is called tidy data. The way we're going to do this is we're going to use the pivot longer function. Uh, pivot longer uh, and then we're going to specify the variables we're going to keep where they are. So we're going to keep uh, these ones as they are. And then we'll specify the date and the confirmed cases uh, number for that date. Now this should move everything into a much uh, longer data frame, but it's much easier to work with if you want to do a time series plot. Okay, I'm gonna uh, rename uh, the variables just to make them easier to work with. So we're going to uh, rename uh, each of these just to make them a bit simpler. So we now have province, uh, we'll have country region, and then and longitude as well. Okay, so let's save that to this variable. Okay, so the next step is uh, we want to pass the date. Uh, in other words, we want to convert the date from a character or just a string format into a date format. And to do that, we're going to use what's called the Lubridate package. So we'll load the Lubridate package and then we're going to use a function. So first of all, we have to understand how the dates are put together. I can tell from this that uh, this will be 2020. This is going to be the date, uh, the, the day, because there aren't 22 months in a year. And this will be the month. So let's convert the date using the uh, month, day, year function from Lubu date. See if that works. Yep, that works perfectly. Now, we also want to get it so that we have all of the confirmed cases in a in a country summed up and because they're broken out by province and state we're going to uh, sum all the confirmed cases within a particular country and region we don't really care about latitude or longitude at the moment either oops I see I made a typo there um, so what we're going to do is we are going to just group by the country region we're not going to worry about latitude or longitude and we're going to, uh, and also by the date, we're going to sum the number of confirmed cases in that country. And we're going to ungroup. Now what this will do is this will sum up all of the cases in a country uh, so that we end up with a nice clean data set with one row per date per country. So we'll save that as well. All right, so now let's do a basic time series plot. Uh, let's pick a particular country. So let's uh, 
Uh, select the United States. I think this is uh, the US, yep. And then we're going to do a basic plot. So the way we do this in R is we use the ggplot function. And the ggplot function, we need to specify the uh, aesthetic, and we're going to specify the x and the y axes. So the x axis will be the date, the y axis will be the number of confirmed cases, and uh, we're going to just, uh, let's just plot that initially. So we're going to uh, specify the aesthetic and we're going to do a line plot. Okay, so as you can see here, we have a basic time series plot of the number of confirmed cases by date in the United States. So there's a few things we need to do to clean this up. Uh, first of all, I like to use a, uh, a more minimal theme. You can do this using the theme minimal function, or else you can just specify near the top using theme set. And that will also work. Uh, the next thing we want to do is we want to, let's say we want to add in uh, more specific uh, date breaks along the bottom of this plot. So we can do that using the scale x uh, date function and then we can use date breaks equals let's say one week. Now you'll see that this actually uh, because of the way it's displaying, makes it hard to read the axes. Uh, but there's a solution to that. We can use date labels and uh, let's see. Um, okay, so date labels, the codes are defined here. So let's suppose you want to just show the day of the month and the month because we're assuming everything's in 2020. Okay, so percent D for month, for day of the month. And this is the abbreviated month name. Perfect, and now we can see much more clearly what's going on. Uh, now, uh, the next thing we might want to do is we might want to change the Y axis labels to have commas in them. Uh, it's a continuous variable and uh, we can do this using uh, the scales package and comma. Whoa. Labels, there we go. And now you can see that there's commas in there. Now, we want to add uh, some more des descriptive label uh, yet yeah, labels to and titles to our plot. We can do that using the labs or labels function. So the x-axis we're going to call the date. The y-axis we'll call confirmed confirmed cases n and we'll give it a title as well. Um, uh, number of confirmed COVID-19 cases in the United States in 2020. And as you can see, we now have a basic time series plot. All right, so what if we wanted to do this for two countries? Let's suppose we wanted to do this for both Australia and the United States. Uh, to do that, we could come back here and we could ask, uh, let's filter both the country region is in the US or in Australia. So what would that look like? Uh, so that will give us for Australia as well. And now we can plot both. We're gonna specify a color which will correspond to the country region. Okay, so the number of cases in Australia is much lower. It might be helpful to split these out into two separate graphs, and we can do it like this. OK, 
Okay, so that's two separate graphs. Because the scales are so different, what we will find helpful here is to say, uh, let's use free y. And that says that the y-axis can differ between them, but the date will be the same. Okay, so we can see uh, here uh, the cases in Australia and the United States. And we see that there's a bit of a difference in terms of the current uh, number of confirmed COVID-19 cases. But that shows you how to build a basic time series plot. Uh, what if we wanted to move it so that the US plot uh, is, and, and the Australia plot are like, instead of being beside each other, they're underneath each other. Uh, let's do that using ncol equals one. It says the number of columns for the plot is one. There we go. So it's a bit easier to see the axes now. Um, and we want to have the axes for both. We can just get that using scales equals three. Great. Um, and let's get rid of the country region legend over here as well. And we can do that by saying for gmline show.legend equals false. Okay, so that's a basic time series plot of confirmed COVID cases using R. Hopefully that's helpful. And uh, if you found this interesting or um, you learned something, uh, click like or subscribe. And uh, feel free to ask any questions or comments uh, in the comments section below.